يصنى الكل ويبقاه ليس الباقي إلا هو الله 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 ما لي رب إلا هو السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حدثنا أبو بكر بن أبي شيبة وأبو كريب قال حدثنا أبو أسامة عن الوليد بن كثير عن محمد بن عمرو بن أطاء عن أطاء بن يسار عن أبي سعيد وعبي هريرة أنهما سمعا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول ما يصيب المؤمن من وصب ولا نصب ولا سقم ولا حزن حتى الهم يهمه إلا كفر به من سيئاته سيدنا أبو سعيد عن سيدنا أبو هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنهما reports that they heard the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam say that a believer is never afflicted with discomfort, he is never struck with hardship or illness or grief or even with a, a mental worry that his sins are not expiated for him. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, what we must first understand is that Tests, trials, tribulations, these are part of life. This is something Allah informs us and warns us so that when we are afflicted with these types of tests and trials, we remember that ultimately Allah Almighty is the one who controls our affairs. It is Allah Almighty who provides help and His knowledge of our affairs surpasses our intellect. Allah sends us tests to see how we will react and handle them. How are we going to respond? If we look at the situation today, where people all over the world are facing difficulties. Some are facing difficulties through not being able to travel or difficulties for being in lockdown or being ill. So how are we going to respond? Those who were not able to travel for Umrah or when they heard that their Umrah trip has been cancelled due to the virus, how are they going to respond? When you hear that your flights have been cancelled, your loved ones have fallen ill, how will you respond? Allah says in the Holy Quran, and we will surely test you with something of fear and hunger and a loss of wealth and lives and fruits, but give glad tidings to those who are patient. Calamities and difficulties such as the coronavirus, which is which has spread all over the world and is affecting the lives of many people, causing difficulties for them and causing death for others. We must be patient. Muslims must not overreact. We take the necessary precautions, but we mustn't overreact. And at the same time, a person should not be completely oblivious about the situation and do nothing whatsoever. So taking the necessary means, relying upon Allah Almighty and finding the means through the wasila of the beloved of Allah Almighty, seeking Allah's forgiveness and getting closer to Allah Almighty, relying upon Allah Almighty is something which is emphasized in Islam. Allah controls everything and He is the one who can relieve us from our difficulties. So we should pray to Allah Almighty Almighty ask his forgiveness through his beloved ones, through the wasila of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, through the wasila of the awliya'i kiram, and ask forgiveness from Allah Almighty, and we seek refuge in Allah Almighty, we seek Allah Almighty's protection. From this hadith sharif we learn that the calamities that befall a believer in this world raise his status and is an expiation for his sins. So the mu'min, the believer should accept whatever tests, whatever trials and tribulations and difficulties Allah Almighty decrees for him and realize that this is Allah's will. A believer is not afflicted with discomfort or struck with 
calamities or illness, anxiety, grief, mental worries, even the pricking of a thorn is expiation for his sins. But on account of his patience, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal radiallahu ta'ala said that if there was no difficulties and calamities and then on the day of judgment we, have, we would have been left with no good deeds at all. So we should take heed, stay patient, Worship Allah Almighty even more in preparation for our return to the Allah to, to the Almighty. Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala narrates that the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam said that the afflictions do not cease to exist on a male or a female believer in his self or his wealth etc. until he returns to Allah in a state where there is no sin left on him whatsoever. Allah Almighty protect us and our families. Allah Almighty grant us the tawfiq to worship Allah Almighty even more, to ask for Allah Almighty's forgiveness in these times of difficulty. Allah Almighty protect all of us and our families and keep us firm upon the maslak of Allah Hazrat Azim Barakat radiallahu ta'ala anhu until we breathe our last. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.